my beautiful people, and welcome to another Animal Logic Commentary. Today we're doing something that I already did a revisited video about, but hey, I haven't done a commentary for it. Yeah, we're doing a SpongeBob vs. Alien Clones. Uh, this was released in October of 2021 as a Halloween special. It is not Halloween right now, it is in June. Yeah, I'm recording this on June the 3rd. 2024 that should be when this video was uploaded because that's how fast i make these commentaries they're so freaking easy guys like these commentaries like they're so easy so yeah basically what the alien is doing right over here is that he's basically just messing with a cricket for those of you who don't know what a cricket is basically just something you, you can make a thing you can use to make stuff to stick on like T-shirts and and, and and cups, stuff like that. You know, like the like the neat little thing. <laughs> so basically, what's going on over here is that like the alien is making clones of all the characters that he kidnapped and sent into space in previous videos, and he's doing that so that nobody suspects a single thing. That that is. What is happening for those of you who did not get the chance to watch those videos and something really fun and really special about this episode is that it is the 69th episode of animal logic now for those of you who know the context behind the number 69 that is such an achievement for a show like this episode 69 nice <laughs> the alien part 2 that's pretty much what I call this. This is part two of the Alien Trilogy. Now, the, the first uh, one was actually a video that was released sometime in June of 2021, where an alien came to the Animalogic house uh, and abducted, like, five of our characters, including Spongebob, Big Bird, Fozzie, Sonic, and Rex. And that's pretty much what happened. Now, there was originally an entire other scene that I had shot. There was like an entire other scene beforehand that I shot of like filmed up, putting up some decorations with Kermit. But for whatever reason, I lost it. Like I could not find that stuff that I shot. Luckily, it wasn't essential, so the video could survive without it. But it, it was just weird that I could not find that footage. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if I deleted it by accident, but it was just gone. Like, maybe maybe my, maybe my stupid self just forgot to press record or something, but hey, that's, that's what happened. So this is a pretty standard uh, thing for us to do for the horror episodes of just the characters sitting around and waiting for stuff to happen and... It, it, it was it was kind of interesting to have like Peach in the cast but not Mario for a while because this was during Smash Brothers at least the uh, run of like the crossover episodes of like to call them where like the team are interacting and trying to stop a major threat so like this was like right in the middle of that and I love like the sudden lighting difference between the puppets and me <laughs> like like we're in two different rooms or something <laughs> and me just looking at the camera so yeah uh kermit right now is getting possessed or whatever stuff like that my idea for this would like it, it was basically just me trying to reference the alien movie but I didn't have a, like, I didn't have, like, face hugger plushies or, like, a, a, like, or anything like that. So, I just had, like, decided to do that as something that kind of, like, kind of resembled uh, the alien deaths. I love how you can see the camera in the shadows. But, yeah, uh, that was fun to do a little silly you can tell it's a Halloween episode because of the pumpkin. And yeah, this, we uh killed Kermit. 
So yeah, the Kermit that you all know and love just died. And yeah, that was a quite the uh, interesting thing to do because like this wasn't the first time we had killed Kermit. We previously killed him in Friday the Thirteenth, but like th he was resurrected in that context. In this context, like the Kermit that we've been following for the God knows how many episodes at this point, like like at least sixty, like. He died. He's dead for real. And from this point forward, everybody who died in both this video and in Friday the 13th Part 2, they are all clones. They are all clones. They are not the original versions of those characters. But they still have all the same memories as those versions. And it is the same case for everybody who died in Friday the 13th Part 3 as well. They are all clones with the same memories. We introduced the cloning machine in this video, and the characters don't really gain access to that until part three of this saga, a battle of life and death, but mostly death. And here comes Albardo with a piece of hair sticking out from his head. Oh man, I love playing Albardo. He's such a fun character to do. Like, I think of all, like, the like, the live-action characters in Animal Logic. Albardo easily has to be my favorite. He's just such a fun character to try and perform. And he, he really just does bring a lot of energy out to me. And usually stuff that I, I don't get the chance to do, both on YouTube and in my actual professional performances, is, like, Stuff that Albardo does is not usually the type of stuff that I get to do as a performer, and it really does help me bring a lot out of it. Now, this is some really bad lighting because it was shot in my actual garage, but hey, you could say, you could say that it actually works because it's a horror episode. Oh, that's our dog's old kennel. My dog's old kennel in the background. And propping up Spongebob on a freaking boot dryer on top of our fridge. Because that's pretty ghetto, yo. <laughs> like, I love how, like, the dryer is, like, a, like right on top of its crotch. I wonder if, like, Spongebob can feel that. I wonder if uh, that's, like... Well, technically, it's not Spongebob. That's the alien clone. But, like, I wonder if, like, it's, like, deep inside of him. Like, I wonder if he could feel, like, how, like... Deep it is inside of him, or whatever. I want... Maybe he's a sponge and he can't feel that. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't have any idea. So, like, have you guys ever noticed the thing in a bunch of other like puppet videos on YouTube where they'll have like the puppets try to open the door with their mouths because they don't feel like doing another take of them, like opening it normally you guys ever notice that it was stuff that i definitely did a lot back in the day but i've kind of like stopped doing that a little bit oh no it's time for albardo's death scene albardo's death scene is quite the interesting death scene because it really does like emphasize on how like in order to, like, make sure that nothing is going on. Like, nothing mysterious is going on. The alien is, in fact, like, cloaking the alien clones and himself to make sure they don't see it, anything. But I guess he didn't think that as a result... I love how you can clearly see that Albardo threw that. But hey, it adds to, like, the homemade wonder and feel of the show. So I guess you can say that it works in the grand scheme of things. But hey, yeah. Uh, anyway, we still had yet to replace our uh, some of these doors from the remodel, even though we had started. We would already started like a year and a half ago. Like, we didn't even finish the floor at this point. And two of those doors are still... Like, are, are still... Not, wait, 
like there's still the old doors that have been here since the 90s and we've had at least a good chunk of this remodel here since before the pandemic in like march early march of the year so yeah this was easily the silliest thing to shoot if if you're wondering why my hand is tucked in i think i had like shot it in a way that like it revealed that like oh it got albardo's hand even though like i couldn't do i couldn't pull it off i could not pull it off so peach's death is a little, bit of a throwback to when uh to our first appearance in animal logic the musical where peach is just chilling around doing a little da -da 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 -da, and then film buff just kidnaps her to be mario's love interest she still hasn't confessed that she still haven't st stated that film buff, well, technically he was Gendar, that film buff kidnapped her. And I don't think Peach ever found out that film buff was actually Gendar during that situation. So, come to think of it, the two of them haven't really had any conversations together. So, <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's a video for the future. And yeah, this is picking up from where part one ended. And in between these two videos, there was actually not only Friday the 13th Part 2, but uh, Spongebob vs. Space Cannibals, which features Spongebob, Rex, Big Bird, Sonic, and Fozzie going on a little space adventure, and they encounter some cannibals. One of them is Captain Caveman. Uh, that was actually a really fun video. Uh, I might do a revisited for it in the future, but yeah. That was a fun thing to do. And the ending to this video, I think, is actually really silly. Where they, they find the alien, and they just beat the crap out of him. Like, 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 I, like he just beats the cr absolute crap out of him. And I just think it's, I just think it's funny, man. I... I and yeah, uh, and I, I just noticed the fact that Rex clearly does not recognize this alien as an LGM from Toy Story, even though he is a Toy Story character. Then again, both Rex and Woody were characters for years on this show, and if they ever had a conversation together, not really. And yeah, they just beat the crap out of him. Like he doesn't he doesn't really try to fight back. He's kind of a pathetic bad guy. <laughs> uh right now they are sitting in front of our oldest Halloween decoration that I'm aware of and it has a little Frankenstein monster uh candy stand thing with with a bowl and we call it Frank. We call it Frank because it's been here as long as we can remember and it has always been a staple of our halloween to put up frank and dump a bunch of candy in his bowl it's a very tacky very ugly decoration but dang it it has always been a part of our halloween traditions and we love him it is the same thing with our broken frosty the snowman which goes in the exact same spot like <laughs> well, no, 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 no way, it doesn't go in the same spot anymore. We changed it last year to right next to the couch. Although, we're probably going to have to change it again because we got a new couch since then. But, anyway, I'm getting off topic. But, yeah, we love that thing. And, yeah, uh, if I should ever bring the alien back, I don't see myself bringing him back in the future. If I... I, I I feel like if I was to bring it back, it, it was to be for, like, maybe a lore movie where all of the v past villains come back. And they're not necessarily joining forces, but they're all trying to battle our heroes at once, and it just gets overwhelming for the heroes. Like, their biggest battle yet. And on top of having to face a new foe... So did I just deliver you guys my plans for the third Animalogic movie before the second one even came out? Maybe. 
<laughs> and they end the video by watching the very first Halloween episode of Toon Talk, so, which was the very first appearance of Professor Crazy. And yeah, I was in a rush to get this video out it, it, towards the beginning of October, so I didn't really have a lot of time to like properly color correct some scenes, but hey, the video is still good at the end of the day. I, I, I still had a fun time re-watching it for this video, and looking at Film Love's old Halloween costume is interesting, to say the least. I very much do like how his costume looks now where it is the normal fedora but it is a more specific halloween shirt instead of just an orange jacket and anyway guys that is it for this video uh what do you guys think of it uh, please let me know down in the comments below and i love this little tag on how they just left porkers to die Hey, again, please let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. And what videos should I do commentaries or revisited to next in the future? Uh, we still have a few seconds left. Uh, please be sure to subscribe and ring the bell and all that jazz. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye!